Sweden has a long history of welcoming foreigners, but the European refugee crisis is causing tensions in that country. Still, one community leader remains optimistic. CCTV's Guy Henderson reports. A tour of Malmo's roughest suburb, Rosengard. And 73-year-old Diali Dallas Diabeti has a theory about integration problems here. I never meet. And if you don't know someone, you're afraid of that person. So you mean Swedes and the immigrant community are not meeting? They're not meeting. OK. OK. Don't leave anything in the car. Huh? Oh, okay. For many, the Haggard estate is a no-go zone. But, you know, but since Dallas arrived from Senegal in 1963, this area has been home. What do you like about it? Uh, the diversity. Yeah. Foreign travel hell. Some, uh, People of all hello. creeds and colours live here. Nearly all uh, are first or second generation immigrants. 40% of Malmo's population comes from a non-Swedish background. And while in countries like Germany, new arrivals are distributed evenly across the country, that's not the case here. And what it means is that most of those people choose to stick together in communities with few opportunities that are mostly cut off from the rest of society. Beyond the quaint cobbled streets of central Malmo is a darker side, often originating in communities like these. We have a lot of weapons in Malmo. And it's a smuggling route? Smuggling, yes, and you can go to, to special places in Malmö and just buy yourself weapons. All right, so you're a boxer. <laughs> yeah, okay. you yeah. Swedish champion. But there are ways out. In the car park, we bump into former boxing champion Daniel Donland, who says Dallas changed his life. From the hood to doing good. OK. <laughs> well, I mentioned a lot Dallas, what he's done to me. OK. I went from, like, just fighting on the street and everything. Wow. And Wow. And now I'm out lecturing for the, for the others okay. how to reach your goal. So you're well known around here, right? Everyone's Ooh, saying how Oh, yeah. yeah. Everybody knows me. Yeah. Yeah. A local legend who's helped many and, uh, and tells it how it is. Too so, many people who doesn't work. Okay. Too many people living in social welfare. Too many kids who think that being a gangster would solve your problem. With the influx of new arrivals, Dallas sees further challenges ahead. The time is to get together. The time is to live together. But he's optimistic. Otherwise we are Guy Henderson, CCTV, Malmo, Sweden.